Now we're on to the SSS case of solving a triangle with the law of cosines. I am going to skip over a little bit of the algebra on this one. I'm going to set it up so you can see what I would do with it and then uh, leave you to fill in the, the missing pieces. But we just, we have this triangle here. We've got all the sides labeled. One thing that we're going to want to do is determine if these two sides added together are greater than this one, if these two together are greater than this one, if these two together are greater than this one. Looks like they are in this case, so we're just going to go with it. We're going to we're going to be able to figure out these different angles. We need to find angles A, B, and C using the law of cosines. Now, as I mentioned before, I highly recommend that you use the law of cosines for both steps and not just the first step. If you use the law of sines for the second step, it can make things uh, not, not work out in the right way. It, it just You just will possibly run into problems, so I recommend not doing that. We're going to start here with just finding any angle that we feel like. Uh, I feel like finding B, first of all. Okay, So I'll use this. I'll set up the information I have. It's basically just all of these little sides. So B squared as well. Maybe it would be helpful to label these. This will be B, this will be A, and this will be C. So I'm going to start with B squared is 35 squared equals A squared, which is 28 squared, plus C squared, which is 17 squared, and then minus 2 times A times C cosine, the one I'm looking for, and that's B in this case, and just the one that I chose. And like on the last example, you've got to be careful about order of operations. So you'd want to subtract these things over to that side first, then divide by this number, and then do the inverse cosine uh, for that B. B is going to end up being approximately 99.2 degrees. Then we just choose another one. We could choose the first and do a completely, sec uh, completely separate second step. And so we want to start with A squared. So that's 28 squared equals B squared, 35, plus C squared, so that's 17 squared, and then minus 2 times B times C. And then we're getting cosine A, like before, skipping some of the algebra. We do the inverse cosine towards the end, and A is going to be about 52.2 degrees. Now once you have A and B, again, Noting that triangles add up to 180. This last step is really easy, it's just subtracting. And then C is about 28.6 degrees, so we've got all three angles filled in.